Today we'll be discussing the story of this man, a person who has supposedly been seen in the dreams of thousands of people across the world. So who is this person and why do people keep on seeing him? In fact, is he even real? Well, today we'll be answering all those questions. Late at night as you drift off into a deep sleep, have you ever been visited in your dreams by a strange man who you have never met before? If you have, you may not be alone, as we're going to discuss today. Dreams are a subject that seem to fascinate a lot of people. It's often debated by professionals what causes them, what they mean, or even if they mean anything at all. But what if someone, or something, could be seen in our collective dreams, appearing to hundreds all at once? In September of 2009, a website was created asking if people had ever seen a certain face in their dreams. Included was a drawing of a man with large eyebrows and wide-set eyes. The site claimed that in 2006, a psychiatrist patient drew the picture, depicting a man who had been appearing in her dreams on an almost nightly basis. The thing was, the patient had never met this man before in her life. A few days later, another patient saw the drawing on the psychiatrist's desk and claimed to have seen the same exact man while sleeping, also having never seen him before in real life. Curious, the psychiatrist sent the drawing to some of his colleagues to show to their patients. Sure enough, many had the same exact reaction. The man had appeared to them as well, and they had never met or seen him before while awake. The individual in this picture came to be known simply as this man. The website claims that after the initial reporting of the drawing, over 2,000 people across the globe all reported seeing this man upon dozing off, and not a single one of them knew how or why. The descriptions of the dreams this man showed up in varied widely from person to person. One patient described seeing him in the mirror, staring back at him, saying nothing. Another described having a sexual experience with this man, and yet another described seeing him in the sky while having a dream about flying. A common thread throughout these dreams was that this man was usually a calming, peaceful, or at the very least non-threatening character. All except one, that is. One dreamer described a nightmare in which this man appeared to them in their TV, only to come out and slit their throat. The sources did not include any definitive reason for this man's appearance in all of these dreams, but it does provide several theories. One hypothesis was that this man is the image of God, appearing to people in their dreams to provide evidence or clarity in times of hardship. Another more scientifically based reasoning is called the dream imitation theory, which states that once exposed to the drawing of this man, a person's subconscious is more likely to manifest the image in their dreams, basically a self-fulfilling prophecy. But this wouldn't explain the people who had seen this man before being questioned. Thirdly, we have the daytime recognition theory. Since people don't tend to remember the exact details of what they dreamt about, it's possible that they could see the drawing of this man and incorrectly remember seeing him. Finally, we're at perhaps the most outlandish of these theories, which is that this man is a real person with the supernatural ability to enter people's dreams. This of course doesn't explain why nobody has seen him in real life, but believers of this theory suggest that maybe this man looks different in reality than he does in the dream world. So would any of these theories turn out to be true? Or perhaps new information would emerge to blow this story wide open? We'll find out after a brief word from our sponsor. I'm sure everyone watching this video today at one point in their life has booted up public Wi-Fi at either a hotel or restaurant and wanted to check their email. But what many don't realize is just how unsecure your connection is there, leading to the possibility of someone getting your information. That is why signing up for ExpressVPN is so important. It encrypts your internet data, preventing others from sniffing your information when you're using public Wi-Fi networks. Virtual private networks protect your identity across the internet, and ExpressVPN is rated number one by TechRadar. I personally use the service on my phone and computer every single day because it allows me to put my location at 94 different countries, hiding where I'm at at all times. On top of this, it's less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
So take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box, expressvpn.com slash mysteries. Take back your privacy today with ExpressVPN. For quite some time, this story blew up across the internet, including reputable websites covering this man in great detail. People wanted to get to the bottom of this phenomenon that was taking place across the world, and figure out what exactly was going on. People on sites such as 4chan, Reddit, and even Yahoo Answers all came together to try to figure out what the answer was to this bizarre puzzle. What they discovered next was that the credibility of this supposed research may not have been as rock solid as most expected. Firstly, upon hearing about the drawing myself, I couldn't help but think that this entire story seemed a bit too similar to The Man from Another Place, a character from the David Lynch series Twin Peaks. The resemblance of the faces can't be ignored, and on top of that, in the show, the character appears in dream sequences. After a bit of digging on the part of 4chan, the This Man website was quickly traced back to Andrea Nutella, an Italian sociologist as well as the owner of an advertising agency known as Guerrilla Marketing. As you might expect from the name, they're known for their strange and sometimes shocking hoaxes. In this instance, they were working for the horror movie production studio Ghost House Pictures in order to promote their upcoming film, not surprisingly titled This Man. This was now a confirmed hoax. Despite the success of the guerrilla marketing campaign, the film in question was never actually released. It was officially announced in 2010 by writer slash director Brian Bertino but there has been absolutely no mention of it since then. Films get unceremoniously cancelled all the time, but it's really a shame that all this ultimately amounted to nothing. Once the hoax was revealed, a few memes were made, and the internet quickly moved on and forgot all about this man. Years later, however, in 2015, there were a few journalists who were suckered into reporting on it yet again for websites such as Vice. With all that being said, even though this man has been confirmed to be a fake, it did get some people thinking. Is it really possible for multiple humans to share the same dream? Perhaps not to the same scale as described in the This Man story, but to a lesser extent. Well, it should be noted that there are several common trends shared throughout dreamers worldwide. Many people often dream of things such as falling, death, flying, being chased or hunted, or even going back to school. Of course, the exact details of these dreams vary from person to person, but these themes are a start. On top of this, it's not uncommon for people in the same immediate family to share parallel dreams. This makes sense, of course, because these people are most likely going through similar experiences and living similar lifestyles as each other. If we want to get even more specific, the most common group of people to share dreams with one another are twins. Other than those few little facts, however, there really hasn't been much research done on this subject. Perhaps there could be something in the back of all of our collective subconscious, but there simply isn't enough information to give a definitive answer at this point. This is personally one of my favorite online hoaxes of all time. Mainly because, even though it does sound really crazy when you think about it, at first it is kind of believable, which I think is a perfect combination. So I'll end the video here, and until next time, thanks for watching.